Woo! And welcome to this week's crafts. Uh, there will be um, Mother's Day crafts later, but for now we are doing a cute dog. And so first, if you have a rectangle, you want to get it cut into a square. And if you already have that done, then keep going ahead. So you make it so it's like a diamond. And then you fold it from the bottom all the way up to the top. And crease it down. Then turn it around so it's like this. And then you take the left side and you fold it to the right. And then after you crease it, unfold it. And next. You fold the right down to the center, and egg. left down to the center, and then you smoosh them out, so for the ears. It could also be a head. <laughs> Ooh. Now, since this end is pointy, we're going to fold it back a little so it's smooth. And so the top is pointy, we're going to fold that back too so it's smooth. And then we just draw a face on it. Obviously, if you are a serious artist, you will take more time making the face. Whatever. Any kind of face you want. So I think that's it. And goodbye. <laughs> well, welcome back. We have a fun Mother's Day card or Father's Day card. It's a card of love as we are in social distancing and not getting as many hugs maybe as we once did. This is sort of a sending a hug. And the idea is that you are showing people that you love them so much. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make this easy um, card to give to somebody that you care about. It can be for Mother's Day, it can be for Father's Day, it can be for just because you wanna send some love to somebody. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna need to make two hands. So on a piece of paper that's a little bit sturdier than normal, um, I have some cardstock here that I'm doing. And the idea is, as you trace, you'll get a better trace if you keep your pencil straight up and down. If you do not keep your pencil straight up and down, you'll get something that looks similar to an alien hand. Nothing against aliens, but the idea is that we want to make sure that we have a hand that looks like a hand. If you didn't keep your pencil straight up and down, and you go around, it's going to look a little bit different. So it's a good idea that as you're doing these hands, you trace them with the pencil going straight up and down. If you do not have cardstock, you can simply use um, maybe the back of a notebook. Once you have your hands, you're gonna cut them out. And then we're gonna be making the part that connects the two. I've just cut some pieces of paper, took a eight and a half by 11 and just cut two inches off, uh, making them two by 11s. That's usually not gonna be a lot to write some words in it, so I like to put them together. You're gonna use about two fingers, add some glue there. You can use tape if you'd like. I find that a little bit of glue stick goes a long way. If you use Elmer's glue, you're gonna have to let it dry a little bit more. I'll let that one dry because I have one already done here. Now for the accordion fold, I usually do about three fingers for this. You're gonna fold it forward, then back, forward, and back, forward, and back, forward, Back. 
And if it doesn't come out even, that's okay because part of these are gonna be glued down. Once you have that, you're gonna figure out which side you're going to attach. Obviously these sort of lend itself nicely. I have another one here that I've already done. It folded out so that this side will be glued down and this side will be glued down. So if you want to, you can also decorate the hands as the decorating. Anything on the inside there. You can see these are decorated with a little bit of love. You can have that decoration on the inside or the outside. I like to have it on the inside. That way when I fold it, I can write my message on the card or on the hand. And so I'm gonna add just a little bit of glue on one side. A little bit of glue on the other. And I close it on up. We can say, Happy Mother's Day. We love you, dot, 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 so much. So if you have an opportunity to do that this week, great. Um, it's kind of nice if you have um, somebody to pair with. I did this with my daughter, so it's my hand and her hand, so that you can think of it as a combination. And then you will have something fun to give for Mother's Day or just to give any day, really. Thank you very much. Today we're gonna to talk about making a kite to share with our neighbors. Or it could also be something you give to a mother or someone that you think of that's like a mother to you. And so we're gonna make a couple of kites with a little tail on them. And um, we'll also allow you to be able to hang it on a door knob if you'd like or even for them, you can put a little hook on it so that they can hang it up in their wall. It's very simple and hopefully will be made with some things that you have around the house. So we're gonna start off by finding some colorful paper. That can be something from a magazine, that can be good old fashioned construction paper, or I happen to have some of this left around from St. Patrick's Day, so that's what I'm using. And once you get your paper, you're gonna go out in your yard and find some sticks, unless you're lucky enough to have bamboo skewers or anything like that around the house. But I just picked these out of the yard. They started out as a nice big group of sticks. And then I measure them based on my paper. So I wanna have a stick that's gonna be vertical and I wanna have a stick that will be horizontal. So you're gonna to have to trim those down either with a scissors or a handy clipper, either will work. Now that I've got those, I'm also going to need a little bit of string. That's going to be for the hook at the top that they can hang on the wall or on the doorknob. And also, if you have some crepe paper left from a party, that's wonderful. Or if you have just some good old fashioned ribbon, something from the holidays or something like that. So either of those will work. And the other thing you will need will be some tape and a marker or two. So we will get started then now that we have that. And what I'm gonna do first is take my long stick, so the stick that's gonna be the vertical one, and I'm going to take my string, and first I'm gonna tie that up close to the top, and just give it a nice tie to get it on there. Double knot it. And then I'm gonna make my loop. I'll make a small loop. and then I'll make a larger loop. And after I've done both of those, I will be ready to place it in the middle of my piece of paper. Now that I have both of those loops, I am ready to place it in the center of my paper and make sure that it's still gonna be a good size for it. And then I'm gonna do that cheater's way of making sure I know what the middle of the paper is. So I'm going to take it horizontally 
and bring the bottom up to the top, just holding those two places. And then I'm gonna crease just the end of both sides so that I have a marker for where the middle of the paper is. Now that I have those two wonderful creases to give me guide, I will put that stick right back in the center. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna keep that center and fold down on one side to give myself the start of my kite. Got it. And folding down on the other side, again, to give myself the guide of that kite. That first top part of the kite. I actually have to sort of wiggle with this one to make sure that I'm gonna end up with a nice equal triangle. Find that you've got that. Have about two thirds of the paper down here and have created that triangle at the top. And then I find my short stick. I'm gonna place my short stick and my long stick. Again, keeping that string on the outside. And I'm gonna get my tape. Tape's gonna be your best bet with this. I'm gonna put one in the center to get that long stick down. And then I'm gonna use the paper and the tape to secure the other stick. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the top with that long stick. Grab a little bit of my string at the same time. Okay. Tape is gonna be your friend on this project. So make sure that you do a cross tape so that you kind of give a little bit of extra secure security with that. And then I'm just gonna fold up the bottom Again, to make the other part of that. And as with the top, you'll find that you kind of have to wiggle it back and forth to get that shape to do what you want it to do. Based on the size of your sticks and sort of how well you kept it in the center, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Now what we're gonna do is <laughs> take the wonderful streamer and I'm just gonna make it two layers so I make one longer and one shorter again you can do this if you prefer with a little bit of ribbon okay and you can slide it under the flap and give it a little tape as you slide that under you're just gonna tape that in and then give it another piece of tape to make sure that it's secure. And then you will trim up the bottoms. So I like to just give it either just a nice little cut so that it looks pretty like it's a tail on a kite. Same thing on the other side. There we go. And then you've got your kite with your tail and your string. And the last thing that you wanna do is add a little note to it. So I've just been saying um, your friendship lift, lifts me up or another good one is um, you are a bright spot in my sky. If it's something for your mom, you might think of something sweet to say to a mother, but I just write that on there. And again, this then can be taken to your neighbors or taken to a mother or a mother figure in your life and passed on to bring a little bit of sunshine or a little bit of lift to their kite. Thank you. <laughs> There's our outtake.